Hey Bob, so you're talking about some more mountain snow, but some of those flakes might reach the valley today. Mm -hmm. Maybe just a little bit of a flurry. I don't think anything that's going to cause any problems. It is, of course, a Wednesday. It is also Veterans Day, a day set aside to honor all the veterans for all that they've done for the country. And we're looking for a high of 46 for today. Increase in clouds, maybe a snow flurry in the middle of the day. Happy veterans, all you veterans out there. Here's our weather headlines. We're looking at some mountain snow for today. Maybe a flurry here in the valley in the middle of the day. Dry and mild Thursday through Saturday. So after today, that's it for the precip for a few days. But another storm moving in for Sunday. This one looks a bit stronger. It looks like it'll have a bigger influence in our weather today. We do have some stuff showing up on radar. Bit of rain, a rainy day there in Portland. Also, uh, Seattle has been a bit unsettled overnight. Looks like they still have some spotty showers there. A lot of that will track just to the north, and that's why we have some winter weather advisories in effect for portions of northern Idaho, stretching up into the Panhandle, and that's in effect until 10 o'clock. That's just outside our viewing area further to the north. Here is a look outside. We have 31 degrees winds at just three miles per hour. Humidity is up there at 89%, but our air mass has dried out quite a bit. I don't think we'll see the fog like we did uh, yesterday. Check out that chilly temperature in Stanley. They're down to seven now. Haley's at 21. Most locations in the upper to mid 20s here in the valley. Boise a little bit warmer at 31. For this Wednesday, November the 11th, we're forecasting a high of 46 degrees, 5 degrees below normal, 5 degrees below normal as far as our low, too, down to 27. Well, the clouds have overspread southwestern Idaho. The shower is lingering way back. Here's the big picture. We have a big trough of low pressure and the uh, storm track tracking to the south. The storms generally track with a jet stream. Increase in clouds for today, but not a whole lot of precip as most of the action sags to the south, but uh, moves by just to the north of us. You can kind of see that on our future cast. There's noon time, the noon hour, some snow showers possible as close uh, to Boise so that we're just putting a slight chance, maybe just spitting a few flakes of snow at best, or maybe a rain snow mix. Pretty quiet through Friday on into uh, Saturday. Sunday will be affected by that storm system winding up just off the northwest coast. Here's our future cast computer model, our high resolution one. There's 1230 in the afternoon. Some snow real close to us if we don't get any here in the valley and then clear for Friday looking good on into Saturday. As far as snowfall accumulation, you can kind of see where it's going to track mainly to the north of us. Stanley could pick up an inch, however. So increasing clouds and breezy for the Magic Valley, for Sun Valley, some isolated snow showers possible this afternoon and one inch of snow possible around the McCall Cascade area. And here's our extended forecast sunny for your Thursday, partly cloudy on Friday, looking pretty dry through Saturday. There's our next storm on Sunday, slight chance and cooler temperatures on Monday, about a 30% chance of rain or snow on Tuesday. That's liquor weather.